So how does Riverbed's acquisition by Toma Bravo change things for the company? What are the implications for its customers? Sure. Well, the, um, uh, obviously the, the transaction with uh, Toma Bravo has re very recently been, uh, been completed. Um, and you know it's a very co a very conscious decision that we made, uh, you know, to move out of the uh, from under the microscope of uh, of Wall Street uh, into the private uh, in, into the hands of a private ownership, um, and you know we firmly believe that it, you know it gives us the uh, the flexibility and the headroom uh, that we need to you know a uh, deliver on our on, on our on our corporate mission, um, but also to uh, you know to meet the you, know, the you know the demands of our customers in the way that we would like to do so without the uh, you know without the external financial um, pressure on the organisation. So uh, you know we found uh, we, we we feel that we found a. Uh, you know, a great investor uh, in Tom Abraba that really is buying into our long-term vision and strategy. Um, and if you look at, if you check other you know, Tom Abraba's other other investments, you know they, they they typically are very much in the in, in in these in these kind of situations for the long term. So uh, you know, so we see it as a very uh, a very positive move for, for the organisation. The the company has always maintained that it is focused on providing solutions that provide CIOs unparalleled visibility and optimization. Yet you are selling your steel app business to Brocade. Uh, what are your comments on this? Yeah, so the uh, so, so the steel app product is uh, is, is uh, an excellent product uh, in its domain. Uh, obviously, it competes in a very slightly peripheral. Um, domain um, than, uh, than than our other products. Uh, you know, it's a, it's fundamentally a, a server load balancing uh, data, yeah, data center product with uh, with with, uh, with uh, web application optimization. Um, so the uh, yeah, the reality of the situation is that we we yeah, we chose to you know to really sort of focus our attention uh, on the needs of our enterprise and uh, corporate customers. Uh, you know, really focusing on their you know, their, their, their their network uh, 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 their network or the requirements for. Uh, network visibility, management control, and, and optimization. Uh, you know, their uh, journey to the cloud uh, and enterprise mo uh, mobility. Um, and uh, you know, really, we felt that uh, you know the uh, we couldn't really give the, you know, the the full attention to the to the potential uh, of, uh, of of Steel App. So uh, you know, again, a conscious decision to uh, you know to to streamline and consolidate our uh, our, our value proposition. So with the WAN optimization market cooling a bit, where would you focus going forward? Sure. Well, of course, here in India, um, you know, the level or the rate of uh, adoption of WAN optimization has been far slower uh, than uh, yeah, than in in, uh, in other markets. Um, so I, th I, th I think we're still very much uh, a long way from uh, from a, from a, a state of uh, you know, full maturity. So in India, we're finding that you know, the market, rather than um, cooling, is still very much on fire. Um, but of course, it's not just about um, you know, when, when optimization. When, optim when, when optimization in itself can be seen as, a, as, a, as, a, as an expensive sledgehammer to crack a nut. Um, so the uh, the adoption of, uh, of uh, the visibility um, uh, capability within within uh, steel, uh, our steel central value proposition really gives uh, very large organisations who are moving to a, a hybrid cloud environment. Uh, to really have that 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 full end-to-end visi -end visibility, and then to deploy optimization in a much more scientific fashion. Um, so the uh, so you know, I, th I think as 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 the WAN optimization market in itself reaches full full maturity, you know the next wave will be to uh, you know, for organisations to adopt uh, this kind of optimization uh, with 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 full visibility management and control uh, sort of bundled in. So what do Indian CIOs want? I'm sure you are interacting with lots of enterprise technology decision makers in the Indian market. So what are the specific needs of Indian CIOs and how are you catering to their specific needs? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I guess at a, at a headline uh, level, the, uh, the other CIOs challenge is always uh, in, uh, to become more relevant to the business, to become uh, a business enabler uh, as opposed to just a cost of providing basic IT services. Um, so the priority f that we see uh, for, for Indian CIOs is, is, is how they can be innovative uh, and deploy IT, uh, you know, IT that, uh, in, in such a way that business, the business advantage is created. Um, and that's where Riverbed has a, has a, has a, great, uh, a, a, a great proposition for, for today's CIO with those kind of challenges. Um, because you know where uh, we're, we're able to enable, well, we, we enable organisations you know, fundamentally to uh, to deploy their IT assets 
um, where it makes sense from a, from, a, from a business perspective without being concerned about you know, location, distance, latency, user experience, etc. Because all of that can be managed um, you know, wherever uh, the, uh, you know, the CIO wants to deploy the IT assets or um, how they want to um, you know, move to uh, the adoption of cloud or enterprise mobility. So you know, our, our conversation with uh, India's, uh, Indian CIOs today is very much uh, around how we can enable them to achieve uh, you know, the, the level of innovation that they would like to um, and to, to do so without compromising uh, uh, or, or creating risk uh, in terms of how they deliver IT in support of business. So how excited are you by the decision of the Indian government to come up with 100 smart cities? We, we think it's a great, great initiative, um, and we feel that there's a, a, good, a great opportunity to, you know, for us to become part of uh, part of that initiative. Um, you know, clearly, uh, you know, our, 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 uh, our focus has been on uh, on on enterprise customers across uh, across all segments um, of the of the Indian market. Um, but uh, a great a great opportunity for uh, you know for us to, be able to, to to get involved.